Good morning, it's Rob Timmings from ECT for Health with another episode of Knowing Your Jargon. We're just about to embark on this mini series. So, this particular mini series is an eight part, um, eight short videos that really look at unpacking some of the jargon around respiratory physiology. And so, in this first episode, this first, um, first episode of eight, we're going to be having a look at FiO2 and the percentage of oxygen. So, let's get started. The percentage of oxygen is the amount of oxygen in the air that you're breathing. So if we could just very, very briefly understand the concept that air is a mixed gas. If I was to fill up this container with air, there it is, air. Inside that air, which makes up 100% of that container, it's a combination of a mixture of gases. 21% of that air is oxygen. 78% of that air is a gas called nitrogen. And if we had a look at that last little piece at the top here, if you've done the maths, that means that this is only 1%. And that 1% of the atmosphere that you're breathing right now, 21% oxygen, 78% is nitrogen, that 1% this is a mix of all the trace gases. So we've got water vapor, we've got argon, we've got xenon, we've got carbon. In fact, there's numbers of different types of carbon byproducts. So we've got carbon monoxide, we've got methane, and then, of course, the one that most of us hear about in respiratory medicine, which is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is in such small concentration in the atmosphere. Remember, all of these gases, plus others, there's so many other gases that make up your atmosphere. All of these trace gases only make up 1% of the air that you're breathing. If we had a look at the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air that you're breathing, then it would be approximately 0.03%. In such small concentration as carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that you're breathing right now, that it's not even measured in percentages, it's measured in more, more in parts per million. But that's a conversation for another day. So, let's understand then that if 21%, 21% per 100 is 21 percent so 21 per centium literally means 21 parts per hundred if i was to complete that mathematical equation 21 divided by 100 then i would come out with an answer that is 0 0.21 now that 0 0.21 is called a fraction it's a decimal but it's a fraction and so if I'm breathing 21% oxygen, that means that I am breathing a fraction of inspired oxygen that equals 0.21. Now let's give this one some clinical relevance. If my FiO2, there it is, FiO2 was 21, 0.21, 21%, 0.21 FiO2, room air, then if I was to place an oxygen mask on a patient, let's say I placed a, a Hudson oxygen mask, uh, and the doctor said I want the patient on 50% oxygen. That Hudson face mask is capable of delivering 50% oxygen, and we would do that at 6 litres per minute. So with a good fitting, simple face mask, therapy mask, Six litres per minute is giving approximately 50% oxygen. As an FiO2, we can calculate that if 50 parts per 100 parts of the air that the patient is now breathing is oxygen, then the FiO2, the fraction of inspired oxygen that that patient's breathing, is now going to be simply that math math mathematical equation. So 0. Five will be the answer to that question. The patient with a Hudson mask, a simple face mask at six litres per minute, 
is getting 50% oxygen or an FiO2 of 0.5. And that, in a nutshell, is our first video, done and dusted. Join us for the other seven episodes. Uh, hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button or the subscribe and ring the little bell in the YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, see you for the next episode. Bye.